Finding an animal in need can change your life. This woman rescued a dying dog on the road, and then months later it did something shocking to her. Come with us to see this incredible story. It was a lucky coincidence that Randy had only worked a half day, or things would have turned out very differently. It was a lovely day, and instead of taking the bus, she walked home. But she would find something shocking on her trip. She saw a big bundle of fluff lying on the side of the road. She had a soft spot for all animals, and she needed to see what it was. Getting closer, she could figure out that it was a large dog, but he was badly injured. He had a lot of wounds. His one front leg was completely broken, bent in the wrong direction, and the bone was even sticking out. Some of his wounds were so deep that some of his insides were spilling out from them. She wasn't entirely sure if he was even alive, but then he moaned softly and opened his big brown eyes. He was in a lot of pain, but he was alive. The dog was too big for Randy to pick up on her own and carry to a vet. To get him to care, she would need help. She phoned a friend who lived close by and had a car. While she waited for his arrival, she used her own sweater to try and keep the dog warm and to stop some of the blood. He was large, and if he snapped at her, she could be injured. But something in his eyes made her believe that he was gentle. He just needed someone willing to comfort him. There, on the side of the road, he would almost certainly have died. Her friend Chris came right away and brought a blanket to wrap the dog in. He also brought a box that they could place the dog inside. Then he helped her pick up the pup and take him to the vet. Chris and Randy carried the dog inside, and as soon as the vet nurse saw the dog, she rushed to get the vet. The dog was then taken to the exam room so they could check him out. They had a tense wait while the dog was checked out. Then the vet came out to them. The news wasn't good. They could see that the dog was a mixed breed, but he was only a few months old. They couldn't find any microchip. If he had a family out there, they couldn't find them right away. The final decision was going to rest on Randy's shoulders. The dog had massive injuries. Getting him back to health was going to be very expensive, and they could provide no guarantees that he would even make it through the surgeries he would need. It was heartbreaking, but they advised Randy to let him go. She asked to see the dog before making her choice. He was very weak, but they had given him some pain medication and he didn't moan as much. But then something happened that made the choice clear. She got closer to the dog and his tail started wagging. He recognized the lady who helped him. She then rubbed his head and with her hand in reach, he softly licked her. It was almost like he was trying to comfort her. That did it. Randy didn't have a lot of money, as she had only recently started working after school, but she'd been saving up to buy a car. She would instead use those funds to try and save a life. They didn't want the dog to go into his first operation without a name, and Randy decided to call him Ajax. He was going to have to be a brave warrior to survive everything that was coming his way but she wanted to give him the opportunity to do so. First, they had to stabilize him and get his worst wounds taken care of. They decided to just set his leg and hope that it would be able to heal. They wanted to restore the blood flow to the area, but they knew that they would likely have to come back to operate on the leg. But for now, the leg wasn't the most important injury to tend to. He had some terrible wounds that ran very deep, they had to stitch up layers of skin. It took hours, but finally, he didn't have any open sores. They gave him a lot of medicine and fluids to make up for his blood loss. It would all come down to the next few hours. If he made it through the night, then he might have a shot of getting better. Leaving Ajax in the vet clinic that night was very sad. She didn't want him to feel abandoned, but he was asleep and in the best care possible. Randy just hoped that nothing big came up. His hospital stay and his first procedure had already made a big dent in her savings. She didn't want to run out of money and have to make a choice based on that. But Chris had other plans. On a few social media pages, he made posts about the dog, about Randy's soft heart, and how she wanted to help him. Explaining the situation, he told his friends how they could donate to Ajax's care to help Randy out. 
These posts went viral, and many people donated what they could to help with the dog's care. Knowing that the young woman had spent so much of her own funds on a strange dog touched many people. It was even more touching since the dog was a mixed breed. Often people care less about those than purebred pups. But not Randy. She just saw the life in front of her. And as she got to know Ajax a bit, she fell for his heart. It inspired people. They wanted to help too. And that was very fortunate because his care was soon going to get even more expensive and dangerous. Ajax made it through the first night, and Randy was almost in tears when he opened his eyes and looked at her when she came for a visit. Each time his tail wagged when he saw her, it gave her the courage to fight for him. They had warned her that the dog's leg would likely create problems, but strangely his leg started to heal, and after a few days he could even start to step on it. He was going for short walks, and each time that Randy got there, he jumped up and got excited to see her. Then, one day, he had a blister that just wouldn't heal. The leg was starting to get infected, and he had a fever. They were worried he was going to end up losing his leg. They cut away some of the affected flesh and gave him antibiotics. They were hoping to stop the spread of the necrosis. It took a few days, but then suddenly, they saw that his skin was healing. It looked like they were quick enough, and they saved the leg. It was amazing, and hopefully Ajax could get better. Despite posting his story everywhere, no family had come to collect him, and Randy was starting to believe that she would be able to take the dog home eventually. He was starting to get so much better that what happened was a real shock. Suddenly, one morning when the vet checked on him, Ajax couldn't get up. His belly was extended, and he just cried when they tried to touch him. Something was seriously wrong. They had to phone Randy, and she came as quickly as she could. By the time she got there, the vet had figured out what was going on. Ajax's belly was filled with blood. A small tear that they hadn't noticed in the first procedure had gotten a lot bigger, and now he was in mortal danger. They had to open him up again. Randy was grateful for all the contributions she had received. Without it, she would not have been able to save Ajax again. He went into surgery, and they found the spot that he was bleeding from. It was so small, it was hard to see how it almost cost him his life. They could help him, and this time when he healed, he didn't have any setbacks. Randy couldn't wait to get him home. She had his spot ready for him. He had a dog bed, bowls, and toys all ready for his homecoming. And she even had a way to get him home. Randy didn't like to ask family for help, but one of her uncles saw their story online and he was touched too. He adored his niece and wanted to help. None of her family had a lot of funds, but he did have an older car that they weren't using often. He decided to give it to his niece. It wasn't a great car and not what she had planned at all, but she was incredibly grateful to have her own transport. It was going to give her some freedom. One of the first things she planned to do was to come and pick up her dog in the little car and take him home. Then, all her plans got uprooted. The day before Ajax was set to go home, a couple contacted Randy. They explained that they saw her post, and they believed that this was their dog. She was heartbroken. She had completely fallen in love with Ajax at that point. Losing him now was going to be devastating but she wanted what was best for the dog. If this was his family, then she was glad to get him back to them. She just wanted him to have a happy life. They arranged that the couple would meet her at the vet's office. They allowed Ajax to come out, but he ran straight toward Randy, and he didn't look at the couple at all. They said that he was probably angry at them for being absent while he was that sick. It made sense. They put a harness on the dog and got ready to leave. But then, they made a strange request. They asked if she could give them any of the funds people had donated. They wanted to make sure that they could care for the dog if his injuries ever impacted him down the line. That was a major red flag. But she decided to give them the benefit of the doubt. She explained that the last procedure had almost finished those funds 
and she had planned on donating the rest to a dog shelter. They weren't happy with that plan. The funds were donated to Ajax, and they should go to his care. As his family, they should get it to use as they saw fit. While all of this was going on, Ajax was pulling at the leash, trying to get back to Randy. She went and took his leash from their hands, allowing Ajax to come to her. The dog pressed himself against her. The vet and his team were listening to the exchange, and they were ready to back Randy up if she needed it. The couple had sent her one picture of Ajax as a puppy before she agreed to meet them. But now, she wanted them to show her a few more. Ajax didn't even live with her yet, and she had loads of pictures of their time together. Besides that one picture, the couple had nothing to show them. They had no proof that they owned the dog, and he clearly didn't see them as family. There was no way they were taking this pup from Randy. They started to act threatening when she refused to give them the dog or any money, but she told them that they could phone the police so they could figure it all out. Quickly, the couple rushed off. They just shouted back that they would have dumped the dog anyway. Then they disappeared. It was horrible and way too close. The experience had shaken her up, but Randy was grateful that they figured it out before putting Ajax in harm's way. And now he could go home with her. After some more time had passed, she microchipped the pup and made sure that he would be returned to her in any situation. The dog trusted Randy completely. They became a happy team. He didn't seem to know how to live in a house, but he got used to it very quickly. They went on long walks, and when his uncle Chris came for a visit, Ajax was equally happy to see him. The dog was an amazing companion to Randy. Before she had him, she had a lot of anxiety attacks and was dealing with depression. But with Randy by her side, she just felt better. The dog had already changed her life, and eventually, he would change it even further. It was a few months after Randy had adopted Ajax. He was fully healed up and was now acting like the happy puppy that he was. It was a wonderful sight. Then one day, Randy came home from a particularly bad day at work to a happy dog that wanted to go for a walk. This helped her relax, but when she got back, she decided to check her messages. She had received a lot while they were out. Some of the text messages were from her mother. She had tried to phone. Her grandfather was in the special care of his retirement village. They believed that he had a stroke. Randy was very close to her grandfather, and this news set her in a panic right away. Between her crummy day and this news, her nerves were done. Her heart started to beat fast, and she couldn't catch her breath. She felt faint and had to sit down right there in the middle of her kitchen. She had never experienced a panic attack since Ajax lived with her, but then he did something that shocked her. It looked like he knew just how to help her. She had a bottle of water on the kitchen table after their walk, and Ajax grabbed that and brought it to her. Then he pulled one of her pillows off of her bed, and he brought one to her too. She could lie down on the pillow and rest while breathing deeply. As she did, he just came to lie next to her. He put his head on her chest, and his breathing helped to calm her down. It was like she could breathe easier by listening to his even breaths. No one had taught Ajax how to do this, but he instinctively knew how he could help his favorite person. She was grateful for his help. It allowed her to calm down enough to phone her mother. Her grandfather was stable, but he had hoped to see her. She had never been happier to have transport in her life. She decided to take Ajax with her since her grandfather loved the dog. She could just get in her car and drive to the home where her grandfather lived. She didn't need to call anyone to give her a ride. The home welcomed her and the dog, and they showed her to where her grandfather was. The stroke was mild, and he would be on his feet again soon. But again, she was astonished by her dog. This dog that had been through so much seemed to understand what someone needed when they were in pain. Did he want to give them the same support he received? Who knows exactly what goes on in an animal's mind? But he sure did act in a way that showed care and empathy. 
he got up next to Randy's grandfather and he relaxed there until the man fell asleep. Then he went around the room and tried to comfort all the family members. He was being very sweet. One of the nurses knew their story and she asked if Randy ever thought of getting Ajax trained as a therapy dog. He had the right temperament, but it would take some time and training. They got her all the information that she would need and Randy decided that she would give it a shot. It could be a good way to give back to the community that had helped her save Ajax and who gave her her best friend. But she never imagined the impact that it would have on them both. They went through training. It meant that Ajax had to get used to being comfortable in hard situations, like going into places with a lot of strange noises. They went to schools and hospitals, and he passed all the tests that they needed him to pass. The dog was a real natural, and soon he was licensed to become a therapy dog. They started going to hospitals to help people who were sick. Later, they even went to schools to help speak to children about things like depression. They were a great team. The work gave Randy a special purpose in life, too. It helped with her own anxiety and bouts of depression. The dog had really changed her entire life, and she was grateful that she stopped that day to check out the ball of fluff in the road. He was dying on the road. Now it was months later, and he was a happy dog that was helping others. All because one woman decided to give up her own dreams to save a life, and because she inspired others to help out too. The story had many twists, but Randy and Ajax couldn't be happier with how it all turned out in the end. Thanks for watching. Join us again for even more incredible stories.